Hey guys, Thunder E here, and this is the LG V40. Thank you. LG's latest device, which we actually have had for about a week. Uh, yes, we've had it for a week. This is not a review. We're doing a full walkthrough. We're going to be showing some camera samples and some other samples from this device. Just not enough time for me to give you a full review. Now, we've got this device. We hung out with some of our YouTube buddies, Danny Wingett, Mr. Mobile. Uh, and uh, we got to see this device with its new set of features. Right off the bat, you can clearly see that this is the Morocco Blue. Kind of looks black here, but it's the Morocco Blue. And it's got three cameras at the back right here. Three cameras in the rear, two in the front. You've got a standard 12 megapixels f-stop 1.5. You've got a wide 60 megapixels f-stop of 1.9. And you've got a telephoto 12 megapixels f-stop of 2.4 right there. And that should give you your triple camera set uh, setup. There's actually a triple camera mode, which we get to in the camera. Fingerprint sensor is pretty fast and snappy. Uh, it's something that I do like. I like the fact that LG has that. And I love the fact that it's snappy and it works out pretty well. The display you're looking at has a notch, which we can hide, but I just wanna leave that there for you. 6.4 inches is an OLED display, which means uh, you should get some really nice color representation and the display looks good. I'll be using it with a black uh, wallpaper with of course, All Might here. Sorry guys, custom wallpaper. Can't share this one yet, but it's pretty cool though. Um, now, in terms of the build, I do like the build of this device. It feels really solid and comfortable. One of the best devices I've held in my hands. I think LG's done a really good job here. Powered by the 845 processor, it is a fingerprint magnet, as you can clearly see uh, in this video. Uh, it's got four gigs of RAM. You've got 64 gigabytes of storage, expandable by micro SD. So we've got all that out of the way. What about features in this device? So we've got a Google button right here where my finger is, you tap that, that gives you uh, Google Assistant. I think it's also remappable. We've also got a volume rocker right here, right above that. You can increase and reduce your volume. And the power rocker is on the right hand side. Now, one of the best, biggest and best things in this device is that it comes with a headphone jack, not just any headphone jack, one that can power your premium headphones. It's got a 32-bit quad DAC built in. What it means is that simply, if you got something like the uh, Solento headphones from Bear Dynamics, which are about almost a thousand bucks for in-ear buds, I know, kind of pricey, but those things are really good. This will power them well with ease. If you got like the Bear Dynamics DT1990 Pro, 250 ohms, if you understand what that means, that's a lot of power to drive into your headphones. This will drive it for you. That's something that's pretty cool. Now charging this via USB Type-C, um, it's got fast charging, quick charge 3.0. It's got wireless charging as well, IP68. You know the blah, 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 all that stuff. But it also has, um, of course, the boombox speaker right there at the bottom. And um, we gave it a quick test. So let's go ahead and check out how the speakers sound as well as also how it compares to the G7 ThinQ because of course, that was that is the best speaker in terms of loudness that we've seen. So the G7 ThinQ is still louder than the V40. Though LG did state that they actually went for more balance than just overall loudness on the speaker. So that could be uh, attributed to why this is not as loud as uh, the G7 ThinQ. But it is quite loud though. And it's got almost a stereo setup because you do have assisted audio from the mic uh, at the very top. So. You, if you, if you actually block this up, this will actually sound. Now, that being said, let's take a look at the software. What do we have here? Running Android 8.1. Uh, it is fast, it is snappy. As I said, you've got this eight gigs of RAM. If we go in and we jump into this here, we can go ahead and clearly see, um, you know, what we have for the system here. And you can see about phone, 
and what we have in terms of software information you can see that 8.1 right there on this which is nice uh, it's not pi yet but i'm sure we'll get there at some point uh, when we go in to see some of the features we have on this device going to battery first thing this is a 3300 milliamp battery i'm just going to drop this a little bit uh, and this gives me some really good battery life. I was quite impressed with that uh, on this. And I think a lot of people will be uh, overall, the battery life on this thing is really good. It lasted me uh, almost a full day. So uh, I was quite happy with this. And again, the weight too, it's only 5.96 ounces, really light device. Uh, I forgot to mention the display's HDR display. Plus this device records in HDR. We'll get to that in a second. So we are actually just gonna go back here. A couple of the features that we have, we've got of course lock screen and security, uh, where we can do facial recognition, finger locks, uh, finger fingerprints, and of course your customized lock pattern if you want that. Now with the display, we do have the second screen, which is what the notch is called. You can make it standard in that look. You can go to custom, you can have different customs, or you can just block it out that way. Uh, Keep it, I'll keep it like this, I'll keep it funky for a little bit. You do rounded corners, you can do flat corners, whichever way you want. So you can customize that screen a little bit if you don't like it like I do, or if you don't care, you can leave it the way it is. HDR video effect on there um, for this as well. So that's something that's nice. We've got some extensions like smart cleaning, uh, a floating bar, which is right here, and which we can customize and use and move it around. Uh, you've got some shortcut keys and of course contextual network there's, there's also gaming allow you to of course uh, optimize uh, graphics in the game as, also, as well as have game tools while you're actually using your device to play some games so that is uh, that is just something to take note now as we move back um, sound now, this is where you see a couple of things that already in the notification bar. I'm just gonna show you off there. You've got DTX 3D surround, which is great for gaming. And you've got, of course, your Hi-Fi uh, Quad DAC, which of course, which I mentioned, you can turn and activate them on or turn them off. And turning the Hi-Fi DAC is something you need to do when listening to audio on this. Absolutely amazing. Definitely will help you out as much as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at that camera. Now the camera, app has uh, changed a little bit we're in the front facing camera right now we can do of course a portrait mode here uh, and you can see we've got three options you've got uh, ai cam portrait and google uh, lens you make sure you want to go ahead and turn that off if you don't want any of those beautification features in there but when we go into portrait mode i can go ahead and take a portrait photo if you take that you can go ahead and customize the bokeh effect so i can go in here and I can make it thicker, I can make it lighter, I can do that back and forth. And I would tell you off the bat, it doesn't do much in the foreground as it does with the background. So that's just something to take note. And I've taken a couple other pictures and as you can see here, this one with uh, the flash, it's just myself here. Um, and um, it, does, it does a pretty decent job. I think it does a good job with its uh, portrait modes. Uh, you do have a couple of modes you can actually go to um, for the front facing camera as well. Now we swipe up to the regular camera. So as I said, there are three cameras. We're now in the portrait mode here for the three cameras. We can take flash for instance, who is still here. We can try and do a portrait photo of flash if we actually get him. Nope, I just tossed flash away. So I'm going to have Wonder Woman here. But you can go into a portrait mode and take portrait photos, or you can jump out of that quite quickly. And here you can see we've got a couple of new uh, menu options. We've got portrait, triple shot, and AI cam. We also can change our lenses. So I can go to my standard, that was the telephoto, and this is the wide. So you can see how much real estate it takes. Now the triple shot allows you to go in and take three shots all at the same time. Now it's a little bit slower, but it will capture all three. And once you're done, you can actually play it as a video file. So you can actually watch it as a video file or look at each individual image that was taken. So that's something uh, that's also pretty nice. Your AI cam um, does a little bit more in terms of punching up the, the colors of the image. So if I take a photo in AI cam, you can see it's just a little bit punchier than the photos in standard mode. So. Uh, and it also detects what's in that scene uh, as well. Your standard mode being auto. 
Now we can go ahead and check out, look at some of the modes here. Of course, one of the modes that we saw earlier, as in the day before, is the Cine shot. So we can go in and take the Cine shot, which is basically a uh, moving picture, I'm oh, sorry, moving image in a static picture. So I'm moving my fingers here. I can go ahead and press that. And it should actually take about three to four seconds. It takes it, it creates a basically creates a GIF for you, and that's pretty much what it does. And then you can go ahead and you can customize what you want in motion and put that into effect. And let's see, I want my fingers to be in motion here, and then boom. That's, that's what's in motion. So it's, it's, it's a cool tool, something you can actually add to your viewing repertoire, it's nice. So that's something, uh, again, that's uh, added uh, this time with the V7, I'm sorry, with the V40 uh, ThinQ. Uh, now we have a couple of modes, of course, we do have a, uh, our um, uh, cinema video where you can actually apply lots to your videos and record stuff with that as well. Uh, you also have your manual mode where you can go in and take and you know of course customize your photos with manual mode or you can use graphy and select the scene from uh, the library there and use that to actually uh, go ahead and uh, take your photo to match the scene that you're looking for. So you transfer the settings for you. Pretty nice and cool feature. Uh, I think overall the camera is pretty solid. It's been robust. Uh, nighttime photos are pretty good on the camera as well. They're a little mixed sometimes when it comes to human recognition and how the light bounces. As you can see with this image from my buddy here who is visiting, this first image looks really good, very nice capture. And the other images, again, the same light, just one light source was a candle, um, uh, which is directly at him. Uh, the other ones looked a little bit softer, but still I think I liked what it produces, especially in like places like Times Square. Um, nighttime shots are really, really nice on this device. Now, uh, you've got, like I said, you've got an 845 processor, so you can game on this thing pretty well. It runs pretty smooth. The four gigs of RAM may sound like a limitation, but um, I, I found it to be just fine and okay, so no issues there. I think overall, this is an interesting device from LG. It's, it's, it, it meets all the marks. It just has, I just have to see what they actually do with this device moving forward. But I think overall, I'm liking what I see. I like the feel. Um, I'm gonna play more with the camera. Hopefully I can get Mr. Marion Sells to check this camera out, especially with the three lenses at the back. And hopefully we can get that video done for you. It's gonna be a very busy time, but stay tuned, check out our other videos. We'll have, of course, um, some audio um, battles with the speakers on this compared to the other devices as well. And if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Uh, if you're looking for this wallpaper, I'm sorry, I cannot share this. Uh, I was told not to share this yet, but you can definitely enjoy and look. This is All Might here, if you don't know who that character is. If you have, again, any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share. And, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, there are some promos for uh, either pre-ordering or getting this device, which actually uh, sound pretty cool for the first time from LG. So if you're going to pre-order the V40 ThinQ, uh, you can get a DJI Osmo 2 gimbal and a SanDisk 256 gigabyte SD card with an adapter, um, uh, approximate value of 258 bucks. If you buy the V40 ThinQ, you can get the uh, SD card with it. So think about it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think, otherwise, like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.